just a second. I am trying to bring up my chat on my other computer so that I can see. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, I cannot take credit for any of these um, designs that we're going to do today. Hello, Miss Arlene. How are you? I saw these. Let me see if I can find her name. I wrote it down. Oh, that's not the one I want. Her name is, I think it's Jerry Ann Henson. It's J E R I dash A N N dash H E N S O N. And that's whose designs we're using. That's her YouTube channel name. I'm doing awesome. Jennifer is the one who gave me the idea to do popsicle art. As you can see, I got a ton of popsicle sticks. This isn't even all of them. Hold on. We also have this. Full of popsicle sticks. <laughs> These are my jumbo that I have left. Uh, these are some jumbos that are colored, and those are colored, and then these are skinny sticks, which actually go in that bag. So, let me sit that back over there. I'll probably use those since I don't want to. Okay, so as you see, there's like this little pile of stuff. I was up till one o'clock in the morning because my son had to work late last night. He got off at midnight, so I had to keep myself awake. And the only way I could do it was to try and do a couple of the projects just to see how easy they were. Um, they're very easy, simple projects. I'll show you. Let's see. This is what we were going to do. But um, this took me two hours last night. And I'm really not happy with it. Um, and um, we're going to do this one tomorrow. Because it, it takes the longest. But um, this is a little, I'm trying to, there we go wooden palette. Um, some of my ends aren't even, but that's okay. Um, I'll fix that later. If you've ever seen wooden palettes, this is a miniature one. And the way they were using it was as a cup holder. I thought that was too cute. I'm I'm probably not going to use it for a cup holder. It's definitely sturdy enough because, you know, that's a tumbler. Um, I'm going to use these in dollhouse settings because that's just too cute. The other thing is a barn door. We're going to make this. Now, she only did this, but I added that. We're going to make a so I did it that way. I'm going to make a picket fence. And I did mine wonky on purpose. So this is all intentional. This was, 
this piece here was originally the bottom of this box. It didn't work, but we're going to turn that into something. This is originally something else. I tried to make it fit the box. It wouldn't fit the box, so we're going to turn this into something else. So, yeah. Oh. And then, I made a stamp using all the bits and bobs that I cut off of the popsicle sticks. So we're going to try that out later. I'm just going to set all this down over here. And I think we're going to start with this one first. I have all the things wrote down. Let's see. I'm going to have to sit here and keep counting. Okay. For this one, you need 17, uh, I call them skinny sticks. So, I need 17 minus that one that fell on the floor. Some of them picked it up. Let's see how close I got. There's 17. Set them to a size. Okay. You can do you can cut these however you want. You can use if you have scissors, you can use scissors. Uh, you can use an X-Acto knife. I'm using my 3-in-1 cutter. And you just want to cut the ends off. What I do is I just try to cut it off right where it starts to curve. So I get more bang for my buck. Now, I did it on both sides of that one, but I'm not going to do it on these. Now what she made, like I said, she used this for a cup holder, and it's, it's really cute. All the other ones that I showed you that she did, she was making them for Christmas ornaments, um, but I thought, you know, what a cute idea if you're making a journal. You know, some of these could be put on a journal cover, or you could turn them into refrigerator magnets or anything. So, they could just be for anything. But yes, they do make great ornaments, so... And sorry if I sound a little nasally. There's something blooming in my yard, and it's got my allergies all messed up. <laughs> and I forgot to get allergy medicine on my way home today, or last yesterday. I go to the store. I completely forgot.
Um, you can use any kind of glue. Um, the woman I watched, she used uh, hot glue to do all these with. And that just makes it so much easier. These little itty bitty ones I'm not keeping. They're like, really? Really want to. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Um, actually, these were all gifted to me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I didn't work quite the way I wanted it to. Oh, I'm doing awesome. Yeah, my dad had saw, let's see, what did I get there? He picked me this bag up for $2 of popsicle sticks. And I've already used, well, I've used about that much because this was like bulky. So I've got all these. And then I got this container. Full of colored. Oh, you can see it real well. Yeah, my dad, he's awesome. When he sees uh, like craft stuff, he'll he'll pick it up for me. I was going to measure all these, but I'm not going to. <laughs> just, it's not, I'm not going to do it. You're basically just wanting to nip your ends off. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, how are you? Hey, Jen. How are you? This is what we're going to be making. It's a little palette. Um, like I said, the woman said it was a cup holder, and it will hold a cup. As you can see, I'll put my big, big, massive tumbler on there. So it would hold a tumbler. I'm not going to use it for that. I'm actually going to be using it in my dollhouse. Um, I want to put little bitty cardboard boxes on it and make it look like a like a used palette. But like I said, you don't have to have this fancy cutting tool that I have. You can cut these with good kitchen scissors. You know, not the ones you actually use in the kitchen, but those type. Um, you can use an exacto knife. So 
sorry, I don't know who would be texting me this early. Dollar General. Well, isn't that nice of them? I don't need anything for summer. I'm good, thank you. So, yeah, if you do miniatures, this would be great in a miniature scene. I'm trying to look at. Trying to remember how I did it. Um, you can use any kind of glue you have, hot glue, uh, tacky glue, wood glue. I'm going to say hot glue. If you plan on painting this at all, make sure... You get your hot out, your hot glue uh, cut away. It really doesn't matter with paint, but if you're going to stain it, you definitely want to take your hot glue away from it. These are the short sticks. So you lay two down and then you do your two up rods. Trying to make sure I'm staying in frame. And you're going to do one in the middle. My husband laughs at me. Nothing's ever square with me. Um, I do do some miniatures. Um, It was driving me nuts last night, and then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Because palette boards, if you've ever seen them in the store or whatever, they're made out of uh, the inferior wood anyway. They have imperfections on them, they're not cut right. So, it's okay. Of course, I'm getting glue all over me. Like I said, if you want to do this with tacky glue or... I don't know about Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue may work. Um, I do the two ends, one in the middle, and then I dry fit these to see where I want to place them. And then I pull it up. With my little blue dots. But 
because when I used to work at the shoe store, um, Kato's right next door to us would get in pallets. I used to think those are the most wonkiest looking boards I've ever seen. So that's why I don't care if these are like wonky. And the other thing I'm thinking about doing for my miniature is um, then all you do is you flip it over. If the glue thing strings bother you, pull them out. They don't bother me. Because I'll show you another trick. You just flip this over and then you're going to just basically place these right over the ones you've already got down. If that, if, I hope that makes sense. So it's like you don't have to drop in anything. You're just going to put these on here. Wet glue does give you a little bit more play time other than not, you know, because hot glue doesn't. But also, as we all know, wet glue takes forever um but the other thing i want to do is i'm not going to make another palette today but um i want to make a palette and turn it into a miniature garden i don't know if any of you have ever seen where people take palettes like this only in, you know, not miniature size, and they turn them into upright garden areas or flower beds. And I thought that would be cute for a miniature setting because then you lean it up against the house like this and your little plants are coming through here and it's really cute. But here is our new palette. Now, for all these blue strings, all I did last night for the other one is I got my glue gun, or my glue gun, my heat tool. Turn it on real quick. You don't want to get too close because you don't want to remelt all your hot glue. But it will melt the strings if those strings bother you. Like I said, they don't really bother me too bad. But I just wanted to show you how you can get rid of them. Oh, does your daughter use these for her vegetable garden? That is so cool. Yeah, I just saw that the other day on something. 
I, I don't remember what it was, but they had it setting up against the house, and they had um, they had cactuses in it and stuff. I, I think those are called succulents. And then they had some other little shrubbery in it. You know, nothing that gets really big so that you could still see the um, the palette, which I thought was really, really cool. And I thought, oh, what fun. I could do it in miniature. Make a little miniature one to sit next to the dollhouse. So there's our palette. That didn't take long at all. Uh, next one we're going to do, it's going to be the barn door. And like I said, she only did this beam right here. I added this piece. So, it's up to you. And for the barn door, you need 12 sticks. And what I'm thinking about, what I'm thinking about doing with one of these barn doors that I'm making is, you all know my aunt from England's going to be here. And I thought about um, turning this into either an I don't know if I want to do it into an ornament or if I want to put a magnet on the back of it for her. And then she can have it on the um, refrigerator. But I thought, I thought about wood burning. Uh, maybe Tennessee across here or... Uh, something to where she would know. No, you don't have to make these. And you don't need this fancy cutter at all to cut these. Um, let's see. I think these are the scissors I was using last night. They will... Okay, these won't. <laughs> okay, well. You can cut them with scissors. You can use an X-Acto knife. You just have to be really... I forgot to lock the blade. Make sure you lock your blade. You just have to go over it. About five or six times. The lady I was watching was using scissors. And I don't really like that idea. But, I mean, she had scissors des designated just for popsicle sticks. This I bought. Um, good more. I got this at Hobby Lobby. And I had a coupon for it. So, it wasn't as expensive as it should have been. I know. And again, you just want to, if you're one of those that has to measure everything, by all means, feel free, measure it. I don't. I, I want it to look rustic. I want it to look, you know, like an old barn door. 
So all I'm really doing, I don't think I get a good camera angle, is I'm placing it right where it starts to curve. You cannot see that. You see right where it starts to curve. That's that's what I'm using for my um I got the mic. Oh, did you get one of these cutters? Aren't they awesome? The the thing I like about this cutter, let me put my safety back on is if I undo this little screw right here I can do a 45 degree angle wherever all the way up to 130 135 angle yeah I'm probably not saying that right but I don't I don't care Right now, my husband has it for me at a 90, so I'm just cutting straight across. But, yeah, I can do all kinds of angle cuts and stuff. And it's easy on my wrist. Yeah, I can cut up to, I think it's a half-inch thick piece of wood with this. So, I, I really like it. As great for miniature work because I was making a lot of um, custom designs on my dollhouse. And this is a lot easier. I was trying to use my Dremel, but me and my Dremel did not like it. Oh, yeah, you're back. That makes sense. Yeah, your basket weaving. be. You'd have to have one of these to go cut your brand suit, wouldn't you? <laughs> and you know, I never even thought to look in the garden center. They were prob it's probably would have been a lot cheaper there. But I think I had I, I think originally this is like twenty dollars and I had like a forty percent off coupon or something, so I got a really good deal. But yeah, I never thought about looking in the garden center. So yeah, don't always go to craft stores to look for your stuff. Like, um, I think it was Arlene that was telling me about the resin. Um, I did go to Home Depot and because uh, I, I had to take my dad to Home Depot the other day and I was looking at their kit and uh, I'm definitely going to go to Lowe's because their kit was expensive. Now when I asked her about the resin, the only resin, two-part resin, they sold at Home Depot. Uh-oh. Did that go in there? Oh, it fell out. What? Um, it was a weird color. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a gallon, let's see, uh, I can't reach it, uh, there's a, I was pricing Elmer's Glue at Hobby Lobby, and for the gallon jug, it was like outrageous, and my husband was at the, um, at Lowe's one day, which is what we call our 
Common Garden Center, and it's a lumber yard. Um, and they had a gallon of it a lot cheaper, so I got it from there. And plus, there's something, <laughs> as a crafter, going into the hardware store, my husband hates taking me because he'll be looking for something in particular, and I'll be like, ooh, I could turn that into this or that or this. <laughs> he hates it. <coughs> Excuse me. Especially when I'm working on my dollhouses. Oh, he really hates it. Let me set that over there. Okay, so for our barn door, we take none of these, and then you just lay them flat. And like I said, I don't care that my boards are not even or if they're a little wonky, like that one is definitely wonky. So he's going to go on the outside. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. <laughs> Just so. Because if you've ever seen old country farm doors they're not even they're not straight because they were just made out of the leftovers from the houses they built after you get those laid I have never thought I never thought about buying the copper and the brass from there. If you didn't cut the ends off, you just have rounded, rounded tops. That's all. Let's see. And then you're just gonna run you a bead of glue. Move that for. That's okay. And you don't have to use this many popsicle, <clears throat> popsicle sticks if you don't want to. Because it depends on how rustic you want it to be. Like, I mean, how many of us have been driving down the road or riding in a car and you see this barn and the door's missing like two or three boards? It's, it's all... cheaper to go into the yeah. see I just I never thought about looking there for like the copper the brass I mean that makes total sense because you go to Walmart or you even go to the home center, or not home center, you go to um, the craft store and they're charging you a ton.
yeah that's another thing you could do you could make that's what i was saying at the beginning you could uh either make a journal cover or you could put this on the front of a journal cover you could easily turn these into mini figure out how to do a hinge and i'm not i'm not that smart i'm sure i could figure it out now what did i do with me okay Then what you're going to do is you're going to lay your popsicle stick, the one you kept out, and you're going to lay it at an angle, and trace this line. But yeah, that would be cute as a mini album. <clears throat> Like I said, this is how she left hers, was just the one, but I don't know, I, for some reason I like the X, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's just a symmetrical thing or it's a brain thing with me, I haven't figured it out yet. I didn't plan on staining me, so I'm trying to get the glue, the excess glue off. This one, what I did was to make my X, I did the same thing. I just laid the popsicle stick on there, figured out where I needed to cut it. Being a left-handed person and trying to do this is not always easy. I was getting so mad at the exacto knife last night. I was like, that is not the way I had you. what I was thinking. I just, I think that's what I, it just, it just looked, I didn't even, I guess it don't matter. 
um, <coughs> I was trying to think of barn doors that I didn't see or that I've seen that didn't have <coughs> the X and I think that I This is what happened last night when I did this. I did something. I also figured out that these are not left-hander friendly because when you're holding it in your right hand for your righties, the uh, your fingers <coughs> don't touch the locking mechanism. Where I'm left-handed, I'm always when I'm cutting or whatever, I'm always hitting the stupid locking mechanism on it and it's coming off. I don't know if you right-handed people have that issue too. And I'll put that up too high. Where's my stick at? Where is my skewer? This one, it's actually, uh, it's, it's a very loose tool. Um, like I said, I've got a carpal tunnel in both wrists. It is very, um, very easy for me when I'm cutting thin stuff. Now, when I start getting to like a half inch thick or something, I sometimes have to have my husband do it unless I sit there and I like squeeze, rotate, squeeze, rotate, you know. But other than that, I don't have any trouble with like popsicle sticks or stuff like that. Excuse me. And there is our barn door. <coughs> and like I said, she made these as Christmas ornaments. So she put the little, uh, like, twine on the back. Um to hold them. You could turn these into refrigerator magnets or like Catherine was saying, uh, 
It'd be awesome as like a mini journal. There's your front, your back. You'd have to figure out how to use how they would open. I'm not sure I'm that coordinated. Okay. The next one we're going to make is this one. Um, it's called the panel. You need eight big popsicle sticks. Let's get those out. And Jen, you were asking about if you don't cut the ends off. So I'm going to do this panel. And I'll just, I'll just lay it out. I'm going to cut the I'm going to cut the ends off. But if you don't, it's it's perfectly fine. That's what it'll look like. It'll just be round. And so say say this was my barn door. <clears throat> the only thing I don't know how you would do is the cross beam. Uh, yes, I do. If you wanted to do a barn door, and you don't have, you know, you don't have a way to cut the popsicle sticks. Instead of using popsicle sticks for the X, I would get some thin cardboard and I would do that if you're going to paint it. If not, this is what your barn door would look like. <clears throat> this is also what your, uh, where, where did I just send it? The stupid thing. Uh, that's also what your palette will look like. That's not the one I just showed you guys. What did I do with the one I just showed you? Oh, <laughs> it's under here. <laughs> that's, you know. But this is what I'm. So, yeah, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to cut them off. This is just, if you want to, do it. If you don't, you don't have to. These are a lot, the, these are a lot easier to cut with scissors. Let's see. See, they're not really that hard. And like I said, I just go to right where it starts to bend. And of course, my angles aren't straight and I don't care. <clears throat> it's just using the scissors wears my hands out a lot more. Well, I didn't do that one right at all, but oh well. Plus my hand my hands are tired from doing this all night last night, too, so. I was having so much fun yesterday. Oh, and I broke that popsicle stick. Okay. And I'll show you what we'll do with him since he broke. Just 
gonna break all the. Okay. Stay there. Finger and hot glue is not the smartest thing to do. <clears throat> Most people would be freaking out. Oh my god, I broke my popsicle stick. Don't freak out. It's it's not that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world. I'll show you why it's not the end of the world. Last night, I, I kind of did freak a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have that many popsicle sticks to do the big projects with. And then I found my other one, so I was like, yay. I said, if you want to measure everything, make sure every single one is perfect. Have at it. I'm not one of those that do that. I guess you guys know that if you've watched my channel. I don't. I do not read a tape measure very well. I don't, um, yeah. Okay, so it is one, two, three, four, five, six. It is six on the bottom. He's broke. I'm still going to use him. <clears throat> you know, run. It's just like the barn door. You're going to run your glue. You want to make sure that they're all nice and put together. <clears throat> what I want to do with this is I'll fix this with the wood glue. <clears throat> Maybe. I mean, this wood glue fine all the time. Well, since you don't want to open the way I want you to open. That has a blue block in there.
probably have to paint because the stain won't stick to the glue. I don't think this one's stainable. And you want the overhang on either side. And you want the overhang on uh, the ends. And there you go. And you can put um, a a picture or a sentiment in this. You can decorate it any way you want. Like I said, they're lightweight, so you can turn them into like a refrigerator magnet. And like I said, what she did with them is she made um, Christmas ornaments out of them. That's the, the other one I made. This was my original. But like I said earlier, I had to, these were stuck out a little further, but I was trying to make this fit my box and it didn't work. So, but, yeah. and that's what the back looks like. I, you could make two of these and turn them into journal covers also. Um, that would be cute. Um, this is what it looks like if you have the, Boards completely flush. I mean, there's a little overhang here and some right here because this was supposed to be the bottom to my box, but like I said, it didn't fit. The next thing we're going to do is this picket fence. Um, I was saying earlier, mine looks like this because. Um, I was thinking more Halloween. I know Halloween's not here yet, but as you can see, like this one, when I cut the end off, it, it nicked, it snapped there. And I was like, okay, that's cool. And then I've got that one kind of leaning and stuff. So yeah, I was thinking these would make awesome. Halloween uh, gifts for somebody. If you did the crooked like this. But, and that takes five of your big sticks and then two of your little sticks. Um, now you don't have to use five, you can use four. Yeah, you could do that too. That would be really cute. Paint it black and put a cat on it. You don't have to use 
five you can use four to make the fence she said that um the one she saw the lady only used four and this is how she had them spaced out um she did the five and as you see you can you can do some kind of weird things see you can even Fun After I get the ends cut, we'll play with them some more. Um, and the other reason why the wonky fence is good is because, as you can see, my my pickets. Or a spooky ghost, yeah. My pickets aren't the same. And hers weren't either. She was actually doing a what I'm calling a wonky fence. But If you, like I said, if you have to have everything symmetrical, then by all means, do that little thing. These are just to give you guys some ideas. Um, the lady I watched this gave me a ton of ideas of what I could do. Um, I was actually thinking of, you know, wouldn't it be fun to make a little garden area and do a little picket fence, but I want to do it with these. I don't want to do it with the big jumbo sticks. I want to make a little mini garden. Or I was thinking, <laughs> I was cutting these popsicle sticks up last night and I was having some like this and I was like, ooh, tombstone. I could do a mini graveyard. You know, these are the kind of things that go through my mind when I'm crafting. Because I love doing miniatures. That's really what I like doing. I know I don't do too many on here. But, yeah, I think in October... We are definitely going to be doing some miniatures, uh, some graveyard, a graveyard. We're going to do um, I don't know, some spooky spooky stuff. I love, I love Halloween. Oops. Ow. That, that, that hurt. <laughs> Ow. That sucker just splintered all the pieces. Okay. Alright, I gotta get my hand to rest. Like I said, I was doing this all night last night because I wanted to do the demo. But this thing, I did make the crate, Jen. This took me two flipping hours. Two. 
two hours. That's gluing and cutting. <laughs> I'm kind of worried. You can't put any. See, I can see it, and I know as soon as my husband sees it, he's going to be like, that is so out of wear. But it, it, when you're working with popsicle sticks, no two popsicle sticks are alike. They may look alike, but they are not alike. They are never completely straight. Uh, so, yeah. If you don't start with something straight, you're not going to end up with something straight. Now, it's cute. I do like it. It's very rustic. And this is what I'm going to use to put my um, mermaid stamps in that we just used, that we just made. That's what this is going to be for. So I do have something, you know, to put those in. And her instructions were very, very thoughtful. Um, the woman whose uh, video you had me watch, she doesn't even tell how she made the box. All she does is shows what she puts in the box. So I had to look up how to make the box. And... Uh, I don't know if it's just the first video I came to, but when I was re-watching it last night and making mine along with her, that's when I realized, ah, hers, her bottom did not come out straight either. And that's why she didn't do any close-ups. Well, that kind of made me mad because I'm thinking, I followed your instructions to the T, did your, did it just like you said, and the bottom doesn't fit. Say, I'll show you which one was, okay. She tells you, you glue six popsicle sticks together. And then you completely cut off the bottom, or the bottoms. Okay, here we go. It doesn't fit. It does not fit. And that was the issue I was having last night. And at one o'clock in the morning, that was ticking me off. So, what I did, what because she tells you, put all your sides together first, then do your bottom. I'm thinking what you should do is probably see, glue your sides to your bottom and then it'll fit. I could actually use that for a lid if it wasn't, you know, I could use this for a lid, which come to think of it, I might, even though it doesn't fit properly, I think that would be cute. Okay, maybe not, yeah. But yeah, so I mean, come on people, when you're making a craft and people are trying to follow along, be upfront and honest. Hey, this didn't work out like it was supposed to. So that's why I try to be honest. 
and you got you guys get to see me make my mistakes, and then you all get to try to help me fix them. <laughs> what I wound up doing though, since it was completely glued together, is uh, I cussed a lot, but then I took my popsicle sticks and I laid them suckers all the way across the bottom. All the way across. Then I took two and I laid them across like that and I glued my two here down. Then I took masking tape and I taped that sucker to it. And let's see, okay. I put a dot here and a dot on that one so that I could, I knew this side went together. Then I took my little happy pin and I traced where I needed to cut the stuff off at. So that's what I did. Yeah, she has you make. She shows you how to make the bottom, and now, you know, I'm looking at it, and this is when I realized it wasn't her directions. It was my popsicle sticks. My popsicle sticks are like, well, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. I'm trying to look. No, see, they look. They look straight. They're not. They're actually. They're actually wavy. You guys can't see it on camera. And that's really disappointing. Because they look perfectly straight. And they're not. It doesn't matter which, which monitor I look at. They look completely, and they're not. They're not straight, and so that's why the measurements were off. And that's why my bottom didn't fit. So what I would do is if you're going to use popsicle sticks, why did that just do that? Did I flash on the big screen or on my computer? On the black screen? Because this computer flashed. Oh, crap. I just broke it. Well, we're not going to fret, right? Nope, I'm not going to fret. Let's flip this sucker over. Cut that. Whoops. That went flying. What the crap am I? I'm making a picket fence. Well, I said it. They could be broken boards. Can't get more broken than that. But I still think I'm going to use that. Oh, that does go from across me. Okay, this. I'm not going to fret. Not going to fret. I'm trying to think now. I broke this. Do I want to keep using it or do I not? I guess we're having another broken fence. So. <laughs> I don't want a severe. Okay. I think my other, the one that I have to see the, um, the live, the, the one I have to see chat on is on dial up, not dial up. Oh my Lord. Wi Fi. Thank you. 
calling that shit rocker. So let's see. We can And that's the other thing you have to worry about with um, popsicle sticks is it does not matter how careful you are with them. They have a mind of their own and if they want to break then well, you're just at the popsicle god mercy because it's going to break. It's not too bad. But see, it did break. But, you know, you can't see that. Like, I don't know. You, let's see. I can't even tell now. But one of these completely, and I can't even feel it. One of these split in half last night. I'm almost positive it's one of those. See if I want it. Mm. I could just trace this, but why is that? Any way you want. You can make your fence any way you want. And Jen, I know you said you don't have a way to cut the popsicle sticks. So you would just have a round fence. Not that big of a deal. Vampires will just feel safe around yours. Yeah, they can definitely be temperamental. Another thing you can do is... Um... I know if you soak them in water, it makes them soft. So you might be able to do that. Soak some of them in water. Okay, one of the things I wanted to see is I should have done. I just play with how you want them to be. Like I said, there's no rhyme, no reason.
you can put them like way up there or way down here. It, it, it's just. Yeah, she can hang garlic on her fence. <laughs> Oh, I did not mean to put glue all the way across. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> don't put glue all the way across like I just did. <laughs> That's just a waste of glue. Okay, so... Dab there, dab there, dab there. <laughs> That's good. I got to talk in. Another idea. I see this. There's no way this would stand on its own or anything like that. This is just, you know, you can make this as an ornament. You can. I'm not worried about this hot glue. I keep turning that long. Now you don't even know that there was wonky glue on the back. Yeah, what she did was um, she took some burlap that she got from the Dollar Tree and she took a chicken salt and pepper shaker and she traced the chicken on a piece of paper cut that piece of paper out um, she took the burlap and she folded it over three times and put glue in the middle and smushed it and let that cult let that cool and then after it cooled she laid her chicken template on it and she cut her chicken out and she put her chicken right here it was the cutest thing uh she did a whitewash on her fence um so that kind of gave me the idea for the it put a stand on the back so it would stand on its yeah, um, I'm going to show you guys, not with this one, but I think with, the, with this one, what I'm going to do. 
so yeah, she put the little chicken on there. It was really cute when she got done. Well, what I was thinking is I want to make something special for my aunt who is coming over from England. And let me show you guys what my idea. Give me just a second. Oh, don't pull the glue on. Now, come on. I, where, did, where did I put you? Oh, fiddles. That's not me. Oh. I opened the bag upside down, but if you guys have not tried these, they are absolutely delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You get 13 pieces for like 120 calories. Love them. But... I love white bread, rice cakes. Okay. Somewhere, <coughs> and apparently I moved them, which really irks me. I had, I have some little hinges. And what my thought was is to like say hinge that to this okay and I guess she's going to be flying you guys can't see that on the camera but that's okay but I thought I would make a cute candle holder you know but while she's flying she can't take so it doesn't get broke, it would fold down. And then when she got home, she could set it up. You know, set it back up and put her little candle behind here. And oh my gosh, I love rice cakes. Absolutely love them. Uh, my favorite is the chocolate car chocolate caramel or caramel however you want to say it um there's a what was the other there's a cinnamon one a cinnamon sugar one oh my gosh that's really good <laughs> i could go on and on about rice cakes i would eat rice cakes over potato chips any day 
the flavored ones. The other ones, I don't eat cardboard, so. Now, I will get the other ones occasionally and do the cream cheese and, or the, um, or, uh, like jam or something on them. And then they're not bad. Sorry, I'm trying to find those potato chips. They're just right here. Because I was like, I need those for my ants project. I do not like being unprepared, but I honestly thought they were still right there on my desk. I just had them because I'm like, I'm going to make this for my aunt. I need the hinges. And well, apparently I hid the hinges on my, uh, forgot to make space to put those back. Fiddles. Fiddles. Popsicle sticks are open. <laughs> oh, and if all you can ever find are like colored popsicle sticks, don't oh, worry about it. That's what they make paint for. You can paint them bad boys. I know, I was needing window trim, and this was the size I needed for my dollhouse. That really makes me mad. Okay, what are we saying? Don't sweat it. This is, what does it do? Do you know, 
Okay, so I'm going to have to make her something else. That's not going to work. And you're like, oh, you got all the time in the world. Yeah, I know. She'll be here Sunday. <laughs> no, Saturday. Wait. Is that Saturday or Sunday? Not what's day? Um, Sunday. She'll be here Sunday. So I'll have till Sunday to find them. I, and I know I'll find them. They'll be in absolutely the last place I look. So, oh, I just break that. So this is what I wanted to try out real quick. Let's see. Let's see if this will work. I don't want to try it on that. She'll be here for a week. 